What's up guys? My name is Riley. This is Tanner. Welcome to Chimmy Comics. So a couple days ago we got to see the early showing of Aquaman. Amazon Prime special we got to go to. Um, but yeah, cool. we're just going to talk about the movie, what we thought about it, uh, tell you about it, like what happened. Uh, but right now we're just going to give a 1 to 10 review. I'm going to give it... Think a 7.5 or an 8. Wow. Okay. Probably an 8. Okay. That's probably the good. What about you? <laughs> Go ahead. Give like, me your 9. Like I gave Spider-Verse a 9.5. Yeah. That's but I said that Aquaman's better. I know. But I don't feel like it's... I feel like it's a 9. <laughs> But it's like, okay, I'll explain myself. The so, rally ranking system so like, is backwards. <laughs> so, like, Edge of Spider-Verse was, like, really good. But at the end of the day, it's still animated. And while I like animated, I don't feel like I like it as much as a real one. True. You know what I mean? So, like, for what it is, it's nine and a half. And for what Aquaman is, I think it's a nine. You know what I mean? Like... I don't even know what I mean. I don't know what you mean, so... I really liked it, though. Right. So... I don't know. Whatever. What were your favorite parts of the movie? Favorite parts of Aquaman. Spoilers. Spo okay, yeah, spoilers. Give us a spoiler warning right here. Uh, so, I guess my favorite parts would be all the Atlantis scenes. Mm -hmm. Every time they were in Atlantis. They were pretty cool. Uh, I liked the big evil crab thing. I that guess was it was supposed awesome. to be Kraken. That was but awesome. it looked like Satan. <laughs> it looked like the crab people summon Satan. The one that he fights. He rides on at the fight. end. And he's about to was fight. Was that the same thing? I'm pretty sure it was the same one. It looked different though. Was it? Because like when he saw it when he was getting the trident and everything yeah. it looked like Maybe it was an octopus. Maybe it was a different thing. I don't know. But the thing at the end just looked like a crab with legs. Crab I thought they were different, but they could have been the same thing. Uh, I really liked Amber Heard. Yeah. And I really liked uh, his friend, who was uh, William Defoe. Yes. He was William Defriend. William Defoe was a very good choice. He was choice. great. He was a great choice. I don't know that character, so that was really good for me. Uh, yeah. I really liked Amber Heard, like I said. Uh, if you go back and watch Justice League, none of this makes sense, by the way. I went back and watched, rewatched the uh -huh. scene from Justice League, you yeah. know, that they're in. Well, you know, she does that big water bubble uh -huh. that they have to talk in. Doesn't make sense. But they talk, and Aquaman talks about how he doesn't like his mom in that scene. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, okay, so he talks about how his mom just gave him up. She didn't want anything to do with him. Like, which is completely against what the plot to this movie was. But, you know. You know, you're probably the only one. <laughs> well, I went back and watched it because I was like, I'm interested now to see, like, what they did to build yeah. up to this. Which yeah. they did that. That doesn't make any sense. Well, and also, Amber Heard's character didn't seem yeah. the same at all. Yeah. She seemed completely different. But costume was way different, too. You know, so. She filled out that costume very well. <laughs> the new one? Yeah, the wig was a bit much, but it worked. She was still hot. Right on, Amber Heard. I mean, you right gotta on. have the hair color. Yeah. I mean, you gotta have that. Yeah, shot it. To be married. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, her water controlling scenes were good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like yeah. that. Those were great. I like the, uh, the, using, the, getting the sweat off of him. Yeah, that was cool. Like, He's cool like, uh, could've just peed on it. Yeah. That, that was, was in the good, trailer. That was a good scene. Uh, when, I liked Black Manta. Black Manta was really Black good. Manta. That uh, was cool. Like, he was justified in his vendetta against Aquaman. Yeah, the the family dynamic was really good, too. Yeah. Uh, You're all about that family dynamic, aren't you? I am. They, they did it well. They it's did about it well. family. It is about family. That's why I like Fast and Furious so much. But, uh, so, his relationship with his dad was really good, really well put. I like their little drinking buddy thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of agreed with Ocean Master at the end. So I was like, yeah, you know what? This drunk probably isn't a good king. Didn't really understand no. that. No, well, yeah. And also, how are they going to make movies with him being king of Atlantis? I don't know. 
You'd it's gonna be cool though. You'd know more than me. I don't know. It's gonna be. Cool I don't though. know Aquaman villains either. So like Black Manta and uh, Ocean Master. Ocean Master is just about it for me. So me I don't too. know where they'd go. <laughs> me too. Don't know where they're going next if he's gonna fight some fish people. I did like that they included everything. Like even the uh, that kingdom of pe- fish people that are like devolved. Like they're, yeah. they're savages. Yeah. That was cool. Was that the crab people at the end? No, the people that attacked him on the boat. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Those, those nightmares. The crab people yeah. were cool too, but I've never seen cool. them before. That mo- the movie seemed really long, but it wasn't. Yeah, there's a lot of scenes there in there a where lot I'm of... like, that that was a good growth. There's, a, there's to a lot that of different scene. like plots within the movie. There is. Like, it feels like each part of the movie is a different story arc, and right. it felt like there were like at least six or seven of them. Right. I liked it though. Oh yeah. I li- it was it was it was a good movie. I love it was how a good they... DC movie. I love how they rallied Which is something him. I can't normally say. Yeah. It's a good DC movie. That and Wonder Woman. I mean, I don't I don't have any feelings toward the character, so I mean that that might affect my rating a little too, but I don't actually resonate with Aquaman, but Yeah. Even so though that, you like to play with him on Injustice all the time. I kick some tail with some oh gosh, Aquaman that dude. Thing trying to... bah, 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 bah. It was cool. It was cool. It was a good movie um, though. Uh, Nicole Kidman was very good as his mom too. Was I? Who was his dad? His dad looked like Ricky Ortiz. I've seen him before, but I don't. <laughs> his know His dad looked is. just like the MMA fighter Ricky Ortiz. I've totally not seen him. him before. Not him, but he looked just like him. Was that not Django Fett? That was Django. That was Fett. Django Fett. His dad's Django Fett. That's. Thank you, Ralph. No, I couldn't good think good of job. it. I couldn't think of it in good the job. theater. I, I still don't know his actor's name, but I do know. But it's now Django that you Fett. reminded me of it, I was like. What was he? Django. That, that was totally Django. Django. Um, Jesus. <laughs> that's crazy. That's awesome that you knew that too. Um, recognized his face. I thought he was like Ricky Ortiz. Am I the only one that thought that Mara was the one behind that big wave? Taking yeah, him out? yeah. I thought that, and I was like, why is he so cool with him saving her after they almost died? And also, <laughs> why did that big wave come in for no reason? I know. It was Ocean Master, though. Was it? Did they say that? I, I, I missed yeah. that part. I just thought, I was like, okay. It was no, a big it was. Way. It was. Took but until that moment, until uh, yeah, like he, she actually saves they them. They should have had like, a scene. You. They should have had a scene with Ocean Master, like, ordering this to happen. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't get that Because it just happened. I didn't get that at all. I don't know if it was in there and we missed it. Probably. Or... Maybe they left it I out I totally of their... thought it was Mera. Maybe it, they it left freaked it out me of their, out. Uh, our screening since we were early it screeners. made me not like her for the moment and then that was so confused then he was they were like later on they were like yeah it was ocean master right i just turned my xbox on it's all right it like happens it. uh yeah that that kind of threw me for a moment but yeah. they fixed it it was his mom the, the fight scene at the beginning of the movie was really good with uh, in the house, yeah, that was cool. With her fighting all those yeah. soldiers or whatever, and then even uh, later in the movie when it shows uh, Aquaman trading with William Defoe, that was really good. Yeah, I still don't know what William. Defoe's I hated, name was. I hated the scene. The, this is the only thing that I hated about this movie was the scene where he's like a teen mm-hmm. and he's training, and he's like, the the things he says are like. You're talking about when he learns the spin thing? Yeah. Well, he's like, you mean my mom didn't love me? Like, oh, yeah. He was being he wasn't really a weird. Good actor. Yeah, he was terrible. He was not a good actor, but I mean, that happens when you're casting kids. I mean, he's not really a kid, though. He was yeah, like... he was a teenager. He was probably like 18. He reminded me a lot of like the Twilight films and stuff. That kind of acting. Yeah, it was bad. It, it was, was bad. really bad. Uh, I could have done without that whole scene. Oh, yeah, me too. It was pretty bad. Like, whatever. Yeah, uh, but that's my only gripe. Yeah, as far as the villains go, I really did like Ocean Master. Mm-hmm. Such a cool name too. He had he had a good case, like yeah, like honestly, I agreed with everything he yeah. was saying. He was like, you know what? They pollute our waters. They kill our fish. Yeah, like they are terrible people to the ocean. And he like, had a good reason to not like Aquaman because yeah, they ki- they said this like bastard. twenty times. He's the bastard child. He is the bastard child, and he got his mom killed. And, like, that first fight between them was really yeah. cool. He got his mom killed. Like, Ocean oh, yeah. Master was pissed. Ocean Master was definitely in his own element. Yeah, then, I mean, I fell for it. But, but I was then, like, yeah, like, he's probably right. They get to the surface of that... It was on a submarine or something they were yeah. fighting on. And 
that's that fight scene wasn't as good. It wasn't good because yeah. he it wasn't even a fight really. Nope. Like Aquaman, Aquaman made it a that fight. That first fight was really good. Aquaman was good in that yep. fight. He he lost, but he was good. He was still yeah. Ocean Master was terrible in that last. Yep. Fight. He he sucked. Yep. They just made him suck. I thought he should have been better, but yeah, but th- then they didn't have that whole build up of getting the uh, the new trident and making it OP. I mean, yeah. The only thing, the thing about the trident is the only thing it does is amplify his fish speaking abilities, right. and it's obviously a better quality trident. Right. Like if you smack it against Ocean Masters, it's gonna break. Yeah. You know. So. And it hurts Superman. Oh. When did it do that? In the comics, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. Pretty sure it does. You got one on me. Take that, Superman. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was expecting a a more close fight. Yeah. And then for him to just break his trident at the end. Well, yeah. But, I mean, that's not really a big gripe. No. That's not a big gripe. I mean, I agree with you that, yeah, that fight could have been better because the first fight was so freaking good. Yeah. Uh, but, overall, Ocean Master was a really great villain. Did you like Black Manta? Yes. I thought he was cartoony. Well, because he just looked ridiculous? Yeah, he's just, he's like, I'm angry. <laughs> I'm he like, had a great reason to be angry, though. Like, he killed his dad. He basically... He... Like, technically not, but yeah. Yeah, his dad was a bad person. He just left him to die. I mean, kind of. But... <laughs> you know, he could have saved him. Yeah. He could have. He could have, yes. I know, I know. I was like, are they really just going to have him just walk away? I was like, yep, they are. Yep. Okay, good job, Aquaman. I really wasn't expecting that. But I, I wasn't was like, either. Oh. I was like, oh, now he's going to go try I'm, to save him. I'm Something's so going to happen. Used... I'm so used to heroes being like, oh, I'll save the day, and then they pay for it later. Yep. But they, he didn't do that. He kind of paid for it later. Oh, he did, but like... Black Manta came usually it's different. everything. Ooh, I'm Black Manta. Uh, I thought that was cool how they... He supplied Black Manta with weapons, and mm-hmm. then he turned it into his helmet. That was yep, cool. Yep, that was really cool. So it's like Atlantean. Yeah, that was a good origin story for Black Manta. One and thing, I assume he's going to be in the sequel, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he, definitely. I don't know it ends with him, that vendetta. So. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how you're going to make a whole movie out of that. I mean, I think he'll be better. It won't be about him. Yeah. He'll just be a side person You know, again. He, he could start with him yeah. again, Yeah. and then Aquaman just beats him easily. And again? <laughs> and then they just go to the main villain. Black Manta is the captive fan of the Aquaman lot. franchise. That happens a lot. <laughs> Throw him down the hole. Um, Goodbye, Black Manta. Did you notice when... You know, he couldn't stab him before because Aquaman's, like, impervious. Yeah. But he's like, well, I've got Atlantis. Oh, yeah, steel. he actually did damage to him and burned yeah, him. Yeah, like, he, he cut him and yeah. burned him. Yeah, he burned him with the vision, but then yep. he took out that pocket knife that his grandpa stabbed had him. and stabbed him. Now, for a second, I was like, but how did that work? Yeah. But I think he stabbed the burn. Probably. I think that's what happened. Probably. More so, than likely. I was looking for a plot hole, but didn't but really also, find like, one. Also, like, his dad did die because he deserved it. I mean, he shot at Kinda. Aquaman when Aquaman was trying to leave. Because <laughs> he's dumb. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, the fish man just came into your freaking submarine and whooped everyone's ass. Oh, yeah, he, t- he totally... Run away. <laughs> he totally Don't fire a grenade launcher at fish man <laughs> in a submarine carrying nuclear bombs. And then also, he let off a grenade with the bombs. Yeah. And nothing happened. He just blew up a little, and then hey, right. Black Manta just kind of left. That totally should have been a big explosion. Yep. <laughs> yep. I noticed these things. Maybe it was so small that it didn't reach anything. Maybe. I don't, I don't really and know. And the water could have Maybe it was a teleporter. Dampened it. Maybe he's still alive. Who knows? That's a stretch. Yeah. It's a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. But... I don't know. It was, I, it was a good movie. It just wasn't great. You know, I left, I left Spider-Verse with a smile on my face. I left Aquaman laughing. Okay. <laughs> because That's of that. still a smile, though. <laughs> yeah, but the, the end scene is just, I don't know. They try to make Aquaman all heroic, and it just made me laugh. 
<laughs> he like flew off and he's like, I am the Aquaman. I love, I love that I was scene. like, oh God. I love that bar scene when those tough guys come up behind him. He's like, hey, are you the fish man, fish boy? He's like, oh yeah, did they take man. pictures? And then they just want a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> they want a selfie and then they, uh, I love there's that. There's like a bunch of pictures after that of them like getting drunk and partying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that I so love much that more too. because, like, the I fight would have been too. nothing. He yep. would have just backhanded him. And yep. I feel like, out. I honestly feel like they probably filmed the fight first, and then they realized this one was just way better, and they were like, you know, let's use they, this one. They might have, yeah. Because, like, that's way it, it felt. But, I don't know. I like Jason Momoa as Aquaman. He's actually good. I like the the whole journey they went on to find the Trident. I thought that was cool. Like, the desert, when they jump out of the plane, yeah, that was Mira. funny. Um, yeah. The only th- thing I didn't like about that whole thing is their romance. It was like was high there school. Was romance there? It was so high school. Did they ever kiss? I don't even remember. Yes, they did at the end. Okay. When he's when they're in the sea and the crab people were crab fighting people. the war. <laughs> when they're fighting underwater yeah. and they, they, they kiss. Make that right there. They kiss and then he takes off after Ocean Master. Which I love how everybody rallied behind him when he had the trident. Oh, yeah. He's like, well, then that man is your king. Yep. I was kind of hoping it was just like, no, fuck off, let's kill him. <laughs> like, I was kind of hoping for that, and then Mira would be like, oh, <laughs> I don't even know you anymore. Yeah, you got the oh. big battle with Aquaman just taking everybody out. Yeah. Which was cool. With his fish people. Yeah, I loved him, like, controlling all the fish. That was oh, cool. that was really cool. And then even those scary things. Well, scary things. Well, the ones that had, like, mutated. The mutated oh. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those, he controlled those, too. But, yeah, like, the romance between them, it just felt forced. It was and, very forced. Like, I didn't think they were good. Like, you remember the scene when he puts the bottle in that statue's hand, yeah. and she, like, stumbles and goes, oh, and he catches her? That, that was gross. Yeah. I was like, blah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And then, immediately after that, Black Manta blasts that statue, and I was like, thank you. <laughs> See, like, the only reason. Like, I actually no, said that out loud. God. I feel like the only reason they do that is, like, they're trying to force a romance, but, like, yeah, you're right. It's It felt way forced. Like, too much. I don't know if they're just not good at that as actors or if the they're, writing wasn't strong honestly, there. Honestly, if the two actors don't have chemistry, there's no chemistry. Yeah, I mean, that could have been it. I don't know. The thing I like is, Amber Heard, though. The thing is, I've been spoiled by good movies yes. with good romance in them. So, you gotta when I see... Out your Emma Stone now. Yeah, when I see <laughs> Whatever, romance, Emma Stone guard. It's sickening. Oh, yeah, the Amazing Spider-Man movie. Yeah, they had chemistry. They definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Aquaman. Uh, yeah, but I, I, like, love, I love Momoa as Aquaman. I like him too, but the thing is, with Momoa as Aquaman, he's a drunk. Mm-hmm. He's a drunk. He's not really... He's just... Uh, he's like a, a... Like a captain of a ship that's just super drunk and... Doesn't really care. He doesn't really get that drunk though. Like he's still. Yeah, I know. They kind of laid home. back. They laid that back a little bit, but then like I'm still like, yeah. Like when the, him and Ocean Master about to fight, that was a really good scene when they had the, uh, the posters with each of their pros and cons. Oh on yeah. It. And his was like bastard. Yeah. <laughs> bastard. It was like half drunk, breed, half breed drunk. <laughs> <laughs> bastard, half funny. breed drunk. And like when he became king uh, at the end of the movie, I'm like. He is a drunk half <laughs> I was like, what is this guy going to do now that he's king of a place he's never been to? Hmm. So that was kind of like, okay, whatever. I but also, when... here's another plot hole that we could discuss. Okay. So are we to believe that Justice League is still canon? Or is this just standalone? Uh, you can argue, based on Justice League and that part of the movie that I told you about, it's not related to this at all. And this is something new. But if we are to believe that that is canon, then Ocean Master is about to get his ass handed to him if he even steps foot on the surface Oh, yeah, world. I remember you saying that. Superman is going to come and kick his ass. Yeah. It'd be like, they come up there like, Surface Dwellers! You will die. Superman just comes in. Bah! <laughs> That's it. 
How how do you not know about Superman though? Like you know. Yeah, seriously. I find it hard to believe. Like William Defoe's just like, wait, wait a minute, sir. Wait, <laughs> wait you might want to hold off on that. You see, there's a Superman guy. <laughs> What, what if this ha- this movie took place when Superman died? When he was after he had died, like between him being dead and you being brought back. You can't do that because in Justice League, right? He has his mom's. He does. Yes. Okay. All right, I've got nothing for you yep. then, because <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah, he's got his mom's. Yeah. Thing. Not the actual trident. I, I really And he doesn't have the orange costume either. Yeah, he doesn't. I, I did know that. I don't think DC cares. I really I don't. I don't think they do anymore. I don't think they care at all. They just want people to like what they like. Well, they're not, they they don't even have Henry Cavill or Ben Affleck anymore, so I mean, they're going to yeah. have to do something. My right, idea is to do Flashpoint. Just reset everything. <laughs> I honestly don't know what they're gonna do. Like, they have to do that. They've, but they've said that they're just doing standalones now. Yeah, but I think they should still try to do the universe. But just do yeah, it. I mean, just me do too. Flashpoint, reset it. You're good. Well, you you and I both know that if we were running things, it would be a lot different. Oh, this ship would be sailing high. <laughs> so, you never know what the Warner Brothers guys are gonna do. <sighs> yeah, that's true. They hire crappy people. Man, I just don't understand. James Wan did good though. I'm oh yes. Him. Him. I want him to direct more. Mm-hmm. You know they offered him the Flash and Aquaman when this uh, series was starting, and he chose Aquaman because mm-hmm. he was like, I can do more with that and be more creative. And I agree with him. Mm-hmm. And plus, the Flash they gave him to work with it was shit. Oh yeah, definitely. Shit, Flash. Not good. I don't like that guy, Ezra mm-hmm. Miller. He just played Sheldon Cooper Flash. I remember when he first got casted and you were showing me pictures of him. And I was yeah. like, that's the Flash? Yep. And I was like, yeah, look how stupid this is. And I was like, what is wrong with this casting department? He was okay in the movie, but he just wasn't the Flash. Yeah, I, I remember just... I remember when they were casting uh, Batman vs. Superman was when they were announcing all yeah. these people. All of them for some reason. Yeah. So... They want you to be excited. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't excited. <laughs> you ruined it for me as soon as your cast list came out. But... First they cast Ben Affleck, big hoopla. Then they cast Jesse Eisenberg, big hoopla. Yeah, Nobody he wasn't even that. in it. Jesse Eisenberg? Is that who? The... That's Lex Luthor. No, I'm thinking Brian Cranston. Yeah, they never casted him. They didn't. Yeah. That was just a rumor. Yeah, that was a rumor. That would have been. They so much approached better. him. Oh, he, okay. he wanted to do it. They cast Eisenberg. Hmm. Probably because Zack Snyder. But anyway, um, and then they had a. Uh, Gal Gadot, which surprised me, thought mm-hmm. thought she was going to be shit, too. Uh, then they did Cyborg, didn't care, 12 Years of a Slave Guy, good on him, probably good Cyborg, I don't know, he was okay. Uh, <laughs> then they did Ezra Miller, Flash, I was like, that's weird. Only movie he had been at that point was Perks of Being a Wildflyer, and I was like, he was the gay guy in that movie. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if he'd make a good Flash. And also, I had been spoiled with the CW Flash at that point. I was like, oh, oh. God, this is going to be a disaster. And I was right. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know that I would want him in that movie either, though. Who? Grant Gustin. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying you'd have to have him in the movie. Just have him I come want, in. I want a goofy kid-like Flash, but I also want one that's like kind of grown up. Yeah. You know? Like... I don't even know who I would cast. Just do Wally West instead. He could. I kind of like that they did that with Lex Luthor. Because then you can be like, oh, he wasn't Lex Luthor all along. Yeah. But so if they you screw up, that. it's okay. Yep, but they won't do that. <laughs> hmm. That would be great, though, wouldn't it? His if name is Alexander Brad, Luthor, if, right? Yeah. That would be great if Brad Craigston just comes in and shoots him in the back of the <laughs> Do you know where that comes from? Disappoint me, son. That would be funny. <laughs> Um, or so, even when he was crazy, he just mad at Superman because he made his son crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with that. Um, 
I'm reading it right now on Crisis and Infinite Earths. Yeah. So on Earth three, you know how everything's backwards. Right. Like the the Justice League is evil. Yeah. yeah Lex yeah. Luthor's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in that world, Luthor has a son, and he like ships him out to the different universes because it's about to blow up. You know, yeah. it's about to be destroyed. It's just like the Superman story. That's cool. Yeah. So his him Alexander Luthor is the one that ends up saving the day for everybody. Right. And saves the multiverse. So that's really cool. That's a lot cooler than what they did in that movie. Yeah, a terrible movie. <laughs> but Aquaman, DC's on the right track now. Oh, so yeah. hopefully, Shazam. Shazam's good. That'll be good. Hopefully, I ah, looks good. It looks okay. <laughs> you were you were more excited for it. I was excited. First, first and was now announced. I've seen that same trailer five times, and I'm like, okay. I mean, there'll be a lot more stuff. I guess. It's taking too long, I guess. I like the uh, power testing they do. Wonder Woman's going to be that great. Cool. Uh, that's going to be good. 1985. Or yeah, 84. And then the Joker standalone looks great. Is there a trailer? Uh, there's a, uh, there's one where they play the, the laughing song, and it's really good. And it's just like the screen test for him, like having the makeup on. The makeup looks oh. completely different. From normal Jokers, but I like it. Okay. I mean, it looks different I enough to where that. you can tell this Joker's different than the rest. Right. But it's basically his origin. What kind of Joker do you think he is? Can you tell? He looks like a Heath Ledger and Killing Joke kind of combination. Hmm. Okay. But the difference between his Joker, like his costume, is like, so he wears, you know, he's got the big smile, mm -hmm. but he's got like a diamond right here that's black. Like a tattoo? No. Like like face paint, you know oh, like well, you yeah. know you know his yeah. like original mask that he wore. He wore it in the Dark Knight too. It's just the, the it had oh, the yeah. nose and the two blue things. It's mm -hmm. like that. It's okay. but it's like a diamond right, right there. And then I think he's got one on this side too, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember that well. But the the the, the screen test. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I just died there. I was Daffy Duck for a second. <laughs> No, that's Porky Pig. Anyways, <laughs> the screen test for him was really good. <laughs> he was great. He was really great. And the music, I listened to the sound, the soundtrack that they play in that trailer a lot because it's, it's freaking perfect for the Joker, honestly. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks really good. It looks just like Killing Joke, but it's just going to be Killing Joke without Batman, I assume. Hmm. Maybe it will have Batman. We never know. Wouldn't that be cool? If they did that, and then they had Matt Reeves, Batman, whoever he ends up casting, show up in that. That would be great. I would like that. But it probably won't happen. Might not happen. As long as we don't get Jared Leto Joker again, I'm okay with that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. But that would fit with your standalone universe. Mm -hmm. And then also we're getting a what, Harley Quinn movie. Yeah, supposed to. Margot Robbie. It's got a really stupid name. Are we getting another Suicide Squad? Yes. So those they're two different movies? Yes. So one's okay. going to be Birds of Prey, and the other's yeah. going to be Suicide Squad 2, which is going to be written by James Gunn from Guardians of the Galaxy. Possibly directed it by... It is Birds of Prey? It's not Gotham City Sirens? No, it's Birds of Prey, dot, dot, something about Harley Quinn. Okay. <laughs> it's it's the longest title in the world. They've it's honestly hilarious. It. But yeah. Aquaman. Go good. see it. It was good. Go see it. Definitely uh, go we got see to see it, it early. Uh, it was a great, great DC movie. It mm -hmm. was a good origin story for Aquaman. Honestly, me and Riley have both described it as a Marvel origin movie, but feels for like Aquaman. It feels like it. It feels just like an, you don't need any prior knowledge. You don't right. have to go see Justice League. You don't have to go see Batman vs. Superman. And it's not connected. You shouldn't see him anyways, <laughs> but it's, it's not... a feel-good movie, and you should watch it. That, that's why I likened it to that, because it's like, it's not connected to anything. You know the Marvel movies, they'll always reference something. Right. Or somebody will pop in, but that right. doesn't happen at all in this no, movie. No, it doesn't. It's the most you get is in Mera, but you don't really... Uh, like I said at the start of this video, she's not the same Mera from Justice League. Yeah, yeah definitely not. So it's, it's, diff it's different. It's different, yeah. but it's good. Everybody in this movie is really good. They all act very well, except for that weird teenage kid. Uh, and, you know... And Django's in it. Django's in it if you want some fat <laughs> action. But uh, overall, yeah, go see the movie. Really good. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye!